With Daniel Cormier becoming a two-weight world champion at UFC 226, a fan tweeted to John Jones saying, I feel like the whole fighting world is waiting for John Jones to break the silence. John Jones responded back saying, Well, I hope the whole MMA community is having an awesome Monday. Know that God is love. John Jones posted another tweet saying, Just keep in mind that life is a journey and not a race. If it's in God's will for me to still be here and healthy, please believe that there will be more fights to come. Let's not forget I'm still the youngest guy in the top five heavyweight and light heavyweight. Daniel Cormier recently appeared on the Ariel Hawani's MMA show and said that he wants to fight Mauricio Shogun who are next. He said, You know what? That's who I want to fight. If Shogun wins, I want to fight Shogun. That's who I'm fighting. I will go fight Shogun because he's a legend. He's a great guy. I will go fight Shogun and then I'll fight Brock Lesnar because Jones isn't going to be back. I don't think. I'm at peace with that. With Stipe Miocic losing a UFC 226, he broke his silence and posted this on his Twitter saying, Congrats to DC. Didn't get the chance to say it in the cage. But let's dance again and get a rematch before you call it a career. Thanks to my coaches and team. Being the greatest heavyweight in UFC history is a career-long journey and it doesn't end here. I'm more motivated than ever. Daniel Cormier responded back and posted this on his Twitter saying, My brother, it was an honour to share the cage with you. I know you'll be back better than ever, champ. Head up and good luck with the baby. Francis Ngannou posted this on his Instagram with the caption, I am not proud of my last performance. I have carried my fear from the last fight to this one. I completely understand the frustration and anger that has caused to my fans, coaches, teammates, family and friends and I'm truly sorry for that. I won't let everyone down again. All I can do now is prove myself and make you proud again. MMA History Today posted this on the Twitter with the caption, It's his now. MMA reporter Damon Martin posted this on his Twitter saying, Volkan Ozdemir has had his felony battery charges against him dismissed in an assault case in Florida. It's Ashley Evan Smith's birthday today. Listen, it was International Fight Week. We always try to deliver on, on this week. Awesome stuff here for the fans, uh, you know, from pool parties to fan experiences. Then the fights delivered. The night was incredible. The main event was unbelievable. And I think that Cormier is finally going to get the respect that he deserves. Cartão, até bom. Ei!